close me up. Sarin nerve gas. The Soviets love it. It's colorless, odorless, but it sure as hell ain't painless. They probably took out this whole town using a bottle half the size of my... Now, the Soviets have a convoy carrying enough sarin to gas all of Europe. I want you to find that convoy, blow the hell out of it. I want you to find their underground production facilities, blow the hell out of it. Think you can remember that? Oh, uh, and uh, evacuate any civvies who get in the way. Remember, we're the good guys. Oh, by the way, um, I'm General Carville. Welcome to Greece. Funeral rules, Lieutenant. Only the good news. All civilians have been evacuated. Repeat, sarin gas threat has been neutralized, General. All right. Not too shabby. Give the man some stripes. Yes, sir. Field promotion to sergeant effective immediately. The commies are at it again. Developing atomic capabilities. General Stavros has a Siberian informant who knows where the Soviet atomic processing facilities are hidden. Stavros insists on going to meet him personally. Stubborn old mule thinks he's a damn field agent. Yeah. Damn. Well, the Soviets must have gotten wind of the Stavros meeting. Intel received word of a large Soviet force moving to intercept. I told Stavros he'd get himself killed playing these spy games. Help him out any way you can. Once the old mule's back, use the information he's got and find and destroy the Red's atomic operations. Nukes, bases, convoys, everything. Kick those commies out of Siberia. For me. Stavros, you old dog. Have you got any idea what a pain in the ass you are? Well, that's not what I hear. The commander here tells me that he had to assign three privates to clean your diapers. <laughs> General Stavros wishes to offer you his deepest appreciation and congratulations on your brilliant career. <laughs> Thank you.
Take a good long look, Major, because you'll be attacking that harbor at dawn. The Soviets are baby steps away from developing sea-to-ground missiles. Once those missile subs are underway, we risk losing naval superiority. I can't tell you how P.O.'d that'll make a lot of people around here. Your job, Major, is to take out those Soviet sub pins, research centers, anything that'll keep those missiles from getting off the ground. Baby steps, Major. Think baby steps. Commander, I believe I've got something that belongs to you. Yours for the dramatic rescue of civilians at our captured research installation. I'd read the inscription, but uh, if your head gets any bigger, I'll have to buy you a new helmet. Hell, you just won the Medal of Honor, son. Let me buy you a Shirley Temple at the Officers Club. We got a hostage situation, all right. We've got a hostage situation that involves every major allied research scientist. But suppose we free these hostages. Then it's even worse. We've got hot spots everywhere, Colonel. This is Poland. I've got super tanks on my tail, mad tanks. I've got nukes pointed at London. And in the middle of all this, I've got a Soviet research scientist that I've got to evac. And then there's the little matter of running the Soviet army out of Poland. I hope you took care of business before you got in the car, Colonel. Because, son, you're in for one hell of a ride. Commander, I didn't expect you for a couple of days. I was just talking about you to the Whigs upstairs. <laughs> I guess uh, saving London from getting nuked was kind of an attention grabber. The Prime Minister just sent over a big basket of, uh, I don't know, crumpets, kind of a consolation prize. You know, we uh, get Poland, they get crumpets. <laughs> well, I know you have other missions that you've got to take care of. Don't let me slow you down. Keep up the good work, son. Commander, or I should say General, are you still on duty? <laughs> Go home. Have a beer. You're a hero. Hell, we're all heroes. <laughs> Is this some kind of a joke? You got ants in your pants, call an exterminator. I'm on vacation. What? How big? Casualties? What do you mean the southern perimeter's been compromised? Listen up, soldier. If we lose England, it's not going to be to a bunch of pinko ants. I don't care how big. Look, I don't care how you do it, son. I'd piss on a spark plug if I thought it'd do any good. You just tell your men to get out there and kick some mad ass. Ants.
playing with that thing. I've just got to adjust this. Give me the sequence calculations. Now! They're already done. I wonder if it will be raining. Stand by. Herr Hitler! Ja, was ist los? Ich habe keine Zeit, hier rumzustehen. Ja, ich verstehe. Did you find him? Hitler is out of the way. Congratulations, Professor. With Hitler removed... Time will tell. Sooner or later, time will tell.
Добрый сержант. Меня зовут Тополов. Генерал Тополов. Рад видеть, камрад. Your mission in the Ukraine is simple. Allied forces seek to challenge Soviet air supremacy. Right in our faces, they build MiG prototypes of their own. They test their new air fuel bomb. They test their chronosphere. The Govniaks grow bold. There's got to be a settling of the score. Destroy the prototypes, but take the chronosphere. Purge the Ukraine of the Allied presence and the bastard behind the threat. Assassinate General Stavros, the Greek commander. Dasvidanya. That is all. Jao Rossio. Jao Zhengshin. Jao Roski Zhengshin. Excellent work in the Ukraine, Commander. <laughs> you are ambitious. Ambition can be very useful. Might find your way into a cramped corner office in a drafty old building. In what used to be the better part of Moscow. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I like you very much. <laughs> and I am Russian. I do not like anybody. But I drink to you, comrade. Comrade, Drasviti, I must speak quickly. These things I am telling you, I am not. Somewhere in our office, in my office, there is a leak. Critical intelligence is reaching the Allied forces in Austria. Now, our key European command center has been infiltrated. Our hidden cargo routes are threatened. Our tactical subpens are attacked, and the Allied Govniaks are even producing our classified new armor plating using a formula stolen from my office. Destroy what they've stolen, and get the Allied idiots out of my face. This is bad for me. Very bad. That's with Daniel. Salute, Commander! Congratulations on your success in Austria! <laughs> You must forgive me if my interest in your success is a bit personal. <laughs> you have cleared my name. You are my friend. And I will drink to your honor. <laughs> it seems I already have. Das vidanje, tovarish. Dobra dien, Major. Rad videt. Our French intelligence confirms the Allied forces are developing two vehicle weapons the phased transport, and the Corona tank. It is not in the Soviet interest that either of these weapons becomes operational. Do what you must. Steal the prototypes. Use the prototypes against the Allies. And keep them from using that Corona tank. Iditai, go on. You have been busy, comrade. I am to present you with this Soviet star in recognition of your efforts in keeping the Allied dogs from completing development of their new toys. You have done well, my friend. Yet, too well. Soon you will have this drafty corner office and I will have to start worrying about my own job. Rebellions, revolution, betrayals. Our people, Coronel, are becoming more of a problem than our enemies. Now, there's a mission for you. Make our people love us or die. <laughs> These papers will instruct you to crush one of our own towns into submission. Put down a faction of our own military that threatens us with biological warfare to assassinate the spies in our midst, to annihilate an entire province, 
men, women and children, who contest our Soviet might. They say, don't tell us what to do. So, we must kill them. This time, comrade, we drink. Congratulations, comrade. That was a difficult campaign. I do not envy you. Yet I think all of Spain was beaten into submission. What you left of it. <laughs> I know your most difficult missions still lie ahead. I will not keep you from your work. Let us say, the next time we meet, we'll be with vodka in our hands and large women on our arms. Das wird dann ja kehrje. Be well. <laughs> and here we are, comrade. You have done your job so well, I am out of mine. As I predicted, no war to fight. Yet, yet, do not worry. I have a dasha to tend, cabbages to grow. And as we both know, I have lost my heart in this. But this I will leave for you in your new office. General. playing with that thing. I've just got to adjust this. Give me the sequence calculations. Now! They're already done. I wonder if it will be raining. Stand by. Herr Hitler! Yeah. Was ist los? Ich habe keine Zeit, hier rumzustehen. Ja, ich verstehe. Did you find him? Hitler is out of the way. 
Congratulations, Professor. With Hitler removed... Time will tell. Sooner or later, time will tell.